What is up guys? Chief Director here with part five of my home theater riser build. Today we're gonna to put the electrical in the riser with three receptacles up front, three receptacles in the back, all for the recliners and even USB chargers. To do that, we have to drop in boxes and plugs and run some wiring. So let's get to work. All right, here what I'm doing is using my oscillating tool to cut a hole in the side of this sheathing. It was pretty difficult to do. I already had the first hole completed. Right here, my blade, I wanted to switch the blade out, and there's just two little magnets in there, and they fell out, and this blade is extremely hot, so I'm having to touch it lightly and work it to get it in there. But I finally get it back in there, finish working on this hole right here, switch out the blade again to get some straighter cuts, and then now we're on to the last hole. And if you noticed, I went ahead and threw in the plugs on the other two uh, boxes that we dropped in. Just wanted to see what it looks like with the plugs in there, more of a finished look to it. Uh, we'll have to take those out after a bit so, with it, so we can go ahead and do the wiring. So here's a look at the three plugs up front. No wiring yet, but you get to see what they look like, uh, what they will look like once they're completed without the plates onto the front of those. Now here's some wiring. We have the wiring kind of picking backing off of each box going to the next. And we're about to show you the little tool that we have to take the sheathing off the outside of the wiring. It's a really nice tool. It grabs it, cuts it and pulls it apart. So let me get a little bit of a close up right here so you can see. And right here we have a little thumbs up here. So these are pigtails for the ground wires coming together because there's only one nut on the receptacle to accept the ground wire. However, for the hot and the cold wires, there are um, two connectors for each. We can put those on each side of the plug and we're still good to go. And that's what it looks like wiring it. All right, I'm back. I took about a day off and went to go kayaking down a river uh, with some of my family. So it was a, a good time. So here's a few pictures from the trip. It's kind of a spur of the moment thing, but it was a lot of fun. We went down the Green River over at Mammoth Cave. Did a few other things other than that, but definitely worth it. I highly recommend it. So now I'm back on this platform, uh, give a little bit of a work on it with the electrical again, like we were doing the other day. I'll show you what that I, I just did a little bit more and uh, tell you what we're about to do. So what we ended up doing was we decided to run these three plugs up front, just straight out into a plug right here. That plug is gonna plug into a power strip we're gonna do the same thing with the back of the riser. We're gonna run three outlets in the back with a plug coming off of it into a power strip. And then our steps are gonna have LEDs and on the LEDs, we're gonna run uh, the plugs out from the LEDs into that same power strip and then a power strip out to a plug in the wall. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attach the top, the top of the riser, finally gonna attach it. Gonna lift it up on its side. I'll have my son help me with that. So we got that hammered in and now it's ready to be lifted up on the side. Just gonna get my son's help to do that and we'll get it up and start finishing this wiring. All right, so the holes are marked. Or we can see that one. <clears throat> ready to use our jigsaw right here to cut those holes. Gotta drill a little pot hole with my drill first to get the jigsaw blade into there and then we'll cut these up and we'll get boxes dropped into them as well as plugs. 
Yeah, so this time we decided to use that jigsaw instead, which was definitely easier to use, however, it was not as precise. So the boxes that went into the plugs weren't in there as good as I wanted them to be in there, but still it works. It worked perfectly fine, actually. Uh, but yeah, much easier than using the oscillating tool. Alright, holes are cut and boxes are in. Let me show you what it looks like. We're getting there, moving along really slow, however, trying to figure out how to get all this stuff wired and where to drill the holes and things like that. So, so far what we've done is we've got the wires on um, the plugs. I haven't got those uh, with the plugs actually dropped into the boxes yet, but I'll show you what that looks like. So there's the wires right there. Got to figure out how I want it to come out of this plug over here to plug into the power strip. Um, so I'm working on figuring that out. Now, one thing I did do is I did put LED lights on the steps. Now I have to get all this cleaned up. It's really messy. I have to, everything has to be taped together so it doesn't come apart. But here's what it's gonna look like on the outside on the steps. So you can get a look at that. It's kind of hard to see, but that's the LED lights on the steps. Okay, got this cleaned up now, so you can see all the wires are not dangling everywhere. I've got them all with those staples hammered in so that they don't move, and I got them all taped up with electrical tape so that the joints don't come apart. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now off to side two to, to get the opposite side done and get this thing laid back down on the floor and then work on dropping in the plugs. completed on this now all I need to do is run the wire from the uh, back plugs up to this front power strip let me show you what I'm talking about so all of these wires are here nice and tucked away here's the other side get these done as well but what I need to do now is run a power cable from this box up to this power strip. So here we go. Now the risers on the floor, plugged it in over there. I unplugged it because I have some bare wire back here. I plugged it in over there and the lights underneath the steps worked. Back in the floor, got that nice and neat. So now I just need to wire those back plugs and then we're gonna take a break for a while before we do the carpet.
All right, riser is almost complete, except for the carpet. So really excited about having it this far along. I think I'm probably gonna put it together with the, some chairs on top of it and the chairs in front of it and maybe watch a movie or two before I go and put the carpet on, take a little bit of a break on that. That's kind of wearing me out, but it's been a fun process doing this. I'm really happy with the work. So let me show you what I have. So three outlets in the back for the chairs. They will sit on top of this. We have steps that are illuminated with LED lights. Three outlets in the front. For the chairs that sit in front of the riser. Again, illuminated with LED lights on this side as well. And I can show you they're voice activated. Alexa, turn off the riser lights. Alexa, turn on the riser lights. So pretty excited about that. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for again, um, sticking with me and, and coming along for with me on this ride. I know that a lot of things I've made mistakes on, haven't done it exactly right. Um, I'm sure you guys can let me know in the comments if you'd like to do that. I'd appreciate the, uh, the help and the, the knowledge. But again, I'm really happy with what I have. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the fifth part of this video. I never envisioned it to take this many parts. Uh, I thought maybe one or two. I'm already on the fifth part. So again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.